Terra is an open source blockchain payment platform for algorithmic stablecoins, which are cryptocurrencies that track the price of currencies or other assets. The Terra blockchain enables users to spend, save, trade, or exchange Terra stablecoins instantly on it. The Terra protocol creates stablecoins that consistently track the price of any fiat currency which is a government-backed currency such as the US dollar or euro. It consists of two main cryptocurrency tokens, Terra and Luna, which have the following features. Terra are stablecoins that track the price of fiat currencies and are named after them. For instance, the base Terra stablecoin tracks the price of the IMF special drawing rights and is named Terra SDR or SDT. Other Terra stablecoin denominations include Terra USD, which tracks the US dollar, and Terra KRW, which tracks the South Korean won. Users mint new Terra by burning Luna. Luna is used for governance and mining. It is a Terra's protocol staking token that absorbs the price volatility of Terra stablecoins. Users stake Luna to Terra blockchain miners, called validators, who record and verify transactions on the blockchain and receive rewards from transaction fees as compensation. As usage of Terra grows, Luna's worth increases as well. Since the primary value of stablecoins is derived from the stability of the price peg, thereby avoiding the volatility typical of cryptocurrencies, the Terra protocol maintains the price of the Terra stablecoin by ensuring that supply and demand for it are always balanced. Luna is the variable counterweight to the Terra stablecoin and absorbs its volatility. To understand how Terra works, envision the Terra economy to consist of a Terra pool and a Luna pool. To maintain Terra's price, the Luna supply pool adds or subtracts from Terra's supply. Users burn Luna to mint Terra and burn Terra to mint Luna. This is achieved by the protocol's algorithmic market module, which incentivizes the minting or burning of Terra through arbitrage opportunities. Firstly, we have the expansion of the Terra pool. When Terra is trading at a high price that is high relative to its peg, the implication is that demand for the stablecoin is higher than supply. This means that supply of Terra should be increased to match demand. The protocol incentivizes users to mint Terra and burn Luna, which has the effect of lowering the Terra price through expanded supply and increasing the Luna price by reducing its supply. Users continue this arbitrage process until Terra trades at its largest peg price. Secondly, we have the contraction of the Terra pool. The reverse situation occurs when Terra is trading at a price that is low relative to its peg, which implies that there is more supply for the stablecoin than demand. This would necessitate reducing the supply of Terra until it matches demand. The protocol then incentivizes users to burn Terra and mint Luna, which has the effect of boosting the Terra price through reduced supply and lowering the Luna price by increasing its supply. This arbitrage process is continued by users until Terra trades at its target price. Here's another way of explaining it. Say you want to buy a movie ticket. One of the products most often purchased during Chai, one of Terra's most popular decentralized apps or dApps. First you'll have to mint your own Terra stablecoin on the website, burning the requisite number of Luna tokens in the process. Once you have your stablecoins, you can use Chai's mobile app to pay for your tickets online or in store. Once you buy a ticket with your stablecoins, Terra's blockchain generates a small transaction fee that is distributed between Luna delegators, token holders who choose to delegate their Luna coin to a staking pool in order to secure the network. Terra was built on the Cosmos SDK and uses a delegated proof of stake consensus secured by decentralized validators who settle transactions in exchange for rewards. Validators and stakers can also participate in the network consensus, having voting power that's proportional to their delegated stake. The 130 active validators with the most Luna tokens are chosen to secure the network. Terra stablecoins are algorithmic stablecoins, meaning that the protocol is designed to achieve price stability by using algorithms. For instance, the value of UST is equivalent to $1 US and should remain stable thanks to the Luna token. When UST drops below $1 US, Luna supplements the UST supply to help it maintain its peg to the dollar. Users who want to mint Terra stablecoin need to burn the dollar equivalent amount of Luna, a small portion of Luna tokens used to mint stablecoins, also known as seniorage, is sent to the community treasury, which makes minting stablecoins profitable for the network. It's a process similar to the seniorage from which central banks profit when they print money. Algorithmic stablecoins are considered a very controversial stablecoin class that can be susceptible to extreme price volatility. The prices of algorithmic stablecoins are secured by smart contract algorithms, financial engineering, and the market incentives of independent participants, factors that have proved to be unreliable in times of crisis. This was the case with the Iron Finance Bank's run, as Iron, an algorithmic stablecoin, lost its peg and crashed from $1 US to nearly zero, and wiping out over $1 billion in market cap in a single day 
due to poor tokenomics. The Terra Protocol's algorithmic market module enables atomic swaps between Terra and Luna, and between different Terra stablecoin denominations. Similar to a market maker, the market module ensures that there is a readily available and liquid market for the protocol's assets with stable prices and fair exchange rates between them. The market modules enable users to always trade $1 US worth of Luna for one Terra USD, UST, and vice versa. When it comes to Terra rewards, the Terra protocol incentivizes validators, Terra blockchain miners, and delegators, users who want to receive rewards without running a full node, with staking rewards that come from two sources. Computational fees added to transactions to cover the cost of processing them, and to avoid spamming, validators can set their own minimum gas fees. There are also stability fees, which are fees added onto each transaction to provide market stability. There are two types, Tobin tax, which refers to a percentage fee added to any swap between Terra stablecoins, and, and spread fees, which is a percentage fee added to any swap between Terra and Luna, the minimum spread fee being 0.5%. Terra has been developed by South Korean-based Terraform Labs, which was founded in 2018 by Do Kwon and Daniel Shin. Current CEO Kwon was formerly employed by Microsoft and Apple, as well as founding a startup, Anyfy, offering decentralized wireless mesh networking solutions. Shin is the founder and CEO of Asian payment technology company Chai, which is a Terra partner, and was co-founder of Korean e-commerce firm Timon, also known as Ticket Monster. The business rationale for developing Terra is outlined in a white paper from April 2019 that lists Do Kwan as one of the four co-authors. The paper proposes a cryptocurrency named Terra that is both price-stable and growth-driven, based on the view that a price-stable cryptocurrency combines the best features of fiat currencies and Bitcoin, while a successful new digital currency needs to maximize adoption to become useful as a medium of exchange. The paper notes that there is demand for decentralized, price-stable money protocol in both fiat and blockchain economies, and such a protocol could be the best use case for cryptocurrencies. In its quest to become a leading commerce stablecoin payment and decentralized finance service provider, Terra has a growing ecosystem in the crypto space, with more than 70 projects across DeFi, Web 3.0, and NFTs. These projects include Anchor Protocol, a fixed yield platform with borrowing yields and frictionless access, Andromeda Protocol, next generation NFT protocol, Chai, a payments app with over 2 million users in South Korea, Low Terra, a decentralized lottery platform built on the Terra blockchain, Mirror Protocol, allows for the creation of fungible assets or synthetics that track real world asset prices, Talus Protocol, a platform where artists can sell their creations and offer services. And Vega Protocol, a platform for minting and trading derivatives. In conclusion, Terra bills itself as a next-generation blockchain payment network interwoven with stablecoins and powered by its native Luna token. In technical terms, Terra is a layer 1 blockchain protocol with smart contract functionality that works as a payments-focused fintech ecosystem leveraging algorithmic stablecoins, the stability of whose value is maintained by internal algorithms. The white paper for the Terra blockchain was released in April 2019, the same month its mainnet was launched. The document describes Terra as a price-stable, growth-driven stablecoin that achieves price stability via an elastic money supply enabled by stable mining incentives. The protocol also uses seniorage, the profit made from issuing currency, to stimulate transactions and facilitate wider adoption. The protocol has issued stablecoin pegged to the US dollar, the euro, the Chinese yuan, the Japanese yen, the British pound, the South Korean won, and the International Monetary Fund's special drawing rights, an international reserve asset that supplements the currency reserves of the multilateral lenders' member nations. They're all collateralized by the Luna token, with Terra SDR being Terra's flagship currency. Terra's main stablecoin, Terra USD, aims to reduce the volatility associated with cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Terra USD is secured not by US dollars, but only by smart contract algorithms and the Luna coin. By contrast, USDT, the biggest stablecoin by market capitalization, had been touted by its operator, Tether, as being backed by US dollars. When it was discovered that USDT was backed mostly by assets such as commercial paper, certificates of deposit, and US treasury bills, Tether was fined $41 million US for having made misleading claims about its reserves. Terraform Labs nevertheless hopes that its token's fiscal foundations, paired with the protocol's elastic monetary governance, will drive widespread adoption. 
Terra's fiscal governance and spending regime are managed by a treasury that acts in a manner similar to a central bank. Community members can submit proposals that compete for stimulus programs. The proposals are vetted and voted upon by the rest of the ecosystem, and those that promise the highest level of adoption are approved.